Good morning from Gatlinburg, Tennessee. My name is Ryan and on this video, we're gonna start at this welcome sign and walk all the way to the other welcome sign. And here is everything that I'll be covering. We will be walking you through the beautiful town of Gatlinburg, Tennessee, showing you all the scenic chair lifts and the amazing views they'll give you of the Great Smoky Mountains, helping you to decide which one you should do. We will show you how to see the very first cabin built here in Gatlinburg in 1807 to the latest and greatest attractions, including a new mountain bike course. We will show you some great mini golf courses as well as some mountain coasters and places that are great for the whole family. We'll also check out a new rooftop bar and diner as well as show you a place to get some really cool desserts this summer you're not gonna wanna miss. So whether you're planning to come to Gatlinburg, Tennessee for your first time or your 100th time, we hope to show you something new to help you with your upcoming summer trip. So without further ado, let this Gatlinburg Adventure Guide begin. When you first drive into Gatlinburg from Pigeon Forge, there is a great little park here. Unfortunately, they have construction going on until the fall, so you can't utilize Herbert Holt Park this summer, but I will show you another Gatlinburg park up ahead that has a kids fishing area as we pass Flapjack's Pancake Cabin. I'll touch on a couple places to eat, but I'll do a whole nother video where I'll talk about all the different restaurants. Same thing with lodging as we come up to the Appy Lodge. I'll cover top 10 places to stay in Gatlinburg very soon on another video. As we come to one of the first things on our list of things to do this summer here in Gatlinburg, Ripley's Davy Crockett mini golf. We've done this course and had a great time doing it. It's part of Ripley's, so if you do go to the aquarium, which we'll talk about later, you can add on this mini golf to your aquarium tickets as well. You can see they have two courses. If you do one course, it's $15, or if you do both, it's $17. One other nice thing about this mini golf course is parking is free here. So let's continue on down the road. I see the next thing on the list up on the left. A little tip for the summertime is traffic can get pretty congested as you head in to Gatlinburg from Pigeon Forge. So definitely make sure you pack some patience if you're coming this summer and try to leave a little early if you have a particular dining reservation. As we come to the Moonshine Mountain Coaster, the one thing that's nice about this mountain coaster is it's only $10 for military and first responders. Here's a look at their seats. You can ride as a couple or with one of your kiddos so long as your combined weight is under 375 pounds. Their summer hours are 10 a.m. in the morning till 10 p.m. at night. And I did see them listed on Groupon, so you can check for discounted tickets there. And just like the Ripley's Mini Golf that we just checked out, they too have their own parking lot. There's no cost to come here and park and ride the mountain coaster. Continuing on, we come to the unofficial welcome sign of Gatlinburg for many people. The black BMW here by Parton's Deli makes many people finally realize we've arrived to Gatlinburg. Again, right next to Parton's Deli and a new pizza place here, Underdogs Pizza. We might cover that on our upcoming what to eat in Gatlinburg video. We come to one of our favorite mini golf courses in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, which also has its own parking and take a ride up to the top of this little mountain area at Hillbilly Golf. We definitely recommend get here early as the line can get long. It's $14 for adults and $10 for youngins, which is 12 and under. As we come to this gas station, which is currently selling regular gas at $3.99 a gallon, we would recommend trying to fill up if you can in Pigeon Forge or Sevierville. As I just filled up this morning and it was a dollar cheaper per gallon. It is a premium spot, so they're gonna charge you a premium price for gas. Next, we come to Ripley's Mountain Coaster. 
I'm gonna give you a better look at what their coaster seats are like and their pricing. And here's a look at their pricing. The more rides you buy, the cheaper it gets per ride. Here's a look at the height requirements. You can pause the video. Like the last mountain coaster, this one too can ride tandem two people with a combined weight of 375 pounds. That is a Ripley's attraction. So you can buy a pass for multiple Ripley's attractions and the more you buy, the cheaper it gets per attraction that you do. It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood here in Gatlinburg as we pass by Zoders, Inns and Suites. We pass by Underdog Sports Bar, the Atrium Restaurant, and over to the right, Chesapeake's, which did make our top 10 romantic date night restaurants. You can check out that video down in the description of this video. You can also come over to the Gatlinburg Forge and Blade, where you can forge your own knife. Let me show you the ones you can make and how much they cost. You could call to make an appointment or you could always walk up to see if there's any availability. Here's a look at the different knives that you could make and their pricing. Next to knife making, you've got some stores like the new Savannah B Company that just opened up. And just beyond that, you would get to Speedworks. It's an exotic car museum here on the corner in Gatlinburg. Opens daily at 11 a.m. where admission allows you to see all 14 rare exotic cars on display worth over $10 million. Once inside, you can take all the photos you want and you can also choose a racing simulator. It's $20 for 10 minutes or get a photo sitting inside an exotic car for $10. And here's a breakdown on the admission to go inside. Right next to the exotic car museum, you would find Ole Reds. So if you wanted to come here and grab a snack or a meal and catch some live performers, you could do that here at Ole Red. On a prison farm in Georgia, close to the borderline. Across the street from Old Reds is the next thing you could do, which is completely free. And you know every dad out there says, if it's free, it's for me. Which is to come in here and tour Martha Jane Ogle's cabin. This is the first cabin settled in Gatlinburg. Mary Jane Husky Ogle came here with her seven children after her husband had passed away of malaria. They built this cabin, and this is where she has lived with her seven children. Not necessarily a long and extensive attraction, but very neat to see the original cabin that was here in Gatlinburg that was built in 1807, sitting here on the main street with all these other new buildings. If you are going to be in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, the night of July 3rd, you could come here with a chair and watch the midnight 4th of July Parade. You can see some video here of last year's Gatlinburg 4th of July Midnight Parade. If you won't be in Gatlinburg or be able to stay up to midnight on this particular night, we'll do our best to share a video of the parade here on this channel. To continue on, you got Jimmy Buffett's Land Shark Bar and Grill, a moonshine location, and some other little stores, including a Harley Davidson, the Hillbilly Harley, as we've now made it to Ripley's Super Fun Zone, which has mini golf and laser tag. As you walk in, you'll notice Eddie Murphy and Stallone here. This is a retro themed mini golf and laser tag. This course has lots of 80 nostalgia everywhere. For the golf and the laser tag, tag together it comes out to twenty dollars you could always buy the loser of the laser tag or mini golf this you would disgrace to the man race mr t-shirt or just come in here and do some shopping with lots of old nostalgic t-shirts and items next we come to anakista which is going to be having a lot going on this summer here is a breakdown on what you can expect up at the top of anakista this summer whether you take their vehicle or the chairlift to the top of anakista in gatlinburg they're going to give you some great views as they focus on sunset and the smokies this summer Ooh, try to say that 10 times fast, but not only great views during the day, but also at night, as you can get some great views of downtown Gatlinburg. And they are continuing their Astra Lumina. We did a full review of what this is like and helping you to decide if it's worth adding to your Anakista ticket. You can check out that video down in the description. 
Spoiler alert, it's absolutely worth the $15.99 add-on to your Anakista ticket. Getting tickets in advance for Anakista is something we do recommend as summertime. This line can move all the way, way back here and be very busy. Next thing on our list that we highly recommend for all families is Ripley's Aquarium of the Smokies. Not only do they have their daily penguin parade, which who doesn't like penguins in a parade, but they have their shark lagoon tunnel, which is great for cooling off on a hot summer day. And new for 2023 is their ring of fire exhibit where you'll find all sorts of creatures that live near volcanic islands. We couldn't make it things to do in Gatlinburg, Tennessee and not include this aquarium. It's great for the whole family. You can get a better look at Anakista from here, their chairlift up, you can take a a car up to the top. You don't have to ride the chairlift, but just down this road right here is Roaring Fork Motor Trail and Minette Park, which is a great place to take kids fishing. They have a 12 and under kids fishing area. From the aquarium, we come to this corner over here where you'll find the Mountain Mall. What I like about this mall is it's completely indoors, so if it's a really hot day or you got some afternoon showers, you can escape here in the Mountain Mall. Another activity to escape the heat or the rain is going to be Activate. So it is a high-tech experience where you get to enter the game. It's got a number of different challenges throughout all the different rooms. And they have eight different rooms that you can do for $20 for one hour of play. Our next stop is going to be The Village, which has 27 unique shops that you can come in here and do some shopping. This area of shops in Gatlinburg, Tennessee just has a very quaint, old town feel. Really neat to come in here and you can always grab a donut at the Donut Fryer. Very good, but they're cash only, so make sure you have some cash for the Donut Fryer. They do have an ATM though. From the village, you got some more shops and we come to Jason Aldean's rooftop bar. Here's a closer look at the diner, which should be open by mid-June. And up above, Jason Aldean's rooftop bar should be open by mid-July. I think they're shooting for a July 4th opening. So we'll try to come back and try out both places when they open and give you a rundown on their menus and what their food is like. Right next to that, you'll find Old Smoky Tennessee Moonshine. There are a number of moonshine places and wineries that you can go in and do a tasting. I'm not going to show you every single one, but that is something you can do while you're here. If you'd like to try out a couple samples of wine or moonshine right here next to Fanny Barkles as we continue to work our way down the strip here in Gatlinburg. We come to Gatlin's Smoky Mountain Fun. We have all kinds of activities here. We have our mini golf that goes up the mountain in the back here. We have two 18 hole courses. We also have a ropes course that we have. It's 38 challenges, it's three stories. We offer a laser tag that's a 3,000 square foot arena. Bumper cars, laser maze, the activity pass. It's a four activity pass to where you have up to 10 days to complete it. And you get your pick out of outdoor golf, flat light golf, bumper cars, atomic rush, laser tag, or laser maze. Across the street from Gatlin's, you would find Guy Fieri's Chicken Guy, which also has an arcade. Continuing on down the street past a number of different shops and restaurants. Up to the right, you can see the Sky Lift Park and the Sky Bridge as we pass by Old Smoky Candy Kitchen. Come in and grab a treat as you're walking the street in the summertime. As we come to Gatlinburg Sky Lift Park, you can see they're building their new ticketing center to the left. But let me give you a rundown on what it's like up top. After you get your ticket to go to the Skylift Park, you get on the chairlift and take a nice relaxing ride all the way up to the top to get some fantastic views of downtown Gatlinburg and the Great Smoky Mountains. They also have a sky bridge, which has a section of plexiglass, which is always so fun to walk across and see everybody else's reaction on the bridge. Great little place to get some views 
and just relax here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Just a heads up, if you wanna to get to the top of Gatlinburg Skylift Park where the sky bridge is, you have to ride the scenic chairlift. There is no vehicle option to get you to the very top. Across from the Skylift Park here in Gatlinburg, we come to the Escape Game, where for $38.99, you can choose your game between Gold Rush, The Depths, The Heist, Timeliner, Prison Break, or Special Ops. So perhaps not the most unique thing, but if you need to cool off in the middle of summer, you can go in there for a little bit. Wow. This is going to be a lot more unique than an escape room. Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. There are a number of Ripley's Believe It or Not Museums around the world. This one comes in at $30 for adults, $17 for kids. I've always loved the exterior of this building with all the raccoons and bears getting into all sorts of trouble. Next to this 70 shoot 'em up cinema, they have a Red Rocket Retro Arcade where you would find this pinball alley with a number of different pinball machines. And back here, they have a number of different classic retro arcade games. Got some different places to get some food and some different treats. I wanted to go over here down this street to check out the Space Needle where adults can ride to the top for $16 and kids are $10. Once you get to the top of the Space Needle in Gatlinburg, you'll get some wonderful views of the Great Smoky Mountains. This is going to be one of your lowest cost options to get some elevation in downtown Gatlinburg. Where I am standing would get a great view of the fireworks on Independence Day at 11 p.m. They'll be shooting off fireworks from the Space Needle. Near the base of the Space Needle, you'd find the Crazy Mason Milkshake Bar. This is a great option to come in here and get a cool treat in the heat of the summer. You can see their Meet Me in the Mountains on the left. Plus you get a Gatlinburg, Tennessee Mason Jar as a great take home souvenir. So we have never actually been on this moving theater, but I'd love to hear from you in the comments. If you have, is it worth doing? Let me know in the comments. The next thing I wanted to point out is across the street, beyond all these shops, is something that you can do for free. As we pass Mellow Mushroom, which has all sorts of pizzas, you come to the Old Smoky Moonshine Holler. This little area back here where you can come and sit and watch live music. Across from the live music is the Hollywood Star Cars Museum, where they have over 40 authentic vehicles from your favorite movies and TV shows. Adults are $17.99 and children are $9.99. Children five and under are free. Next to the Star Car Museum is the next thing that I would suggest you do is come get a family photo. There's so many places here in the Smoky Mountains you can get a photo, but if you're in Gatlinburg, come by and get a photo here in front of the convention center. And speaking of the Gatlinburg Convention Center, there'll be a Craftsman's Fair from July 7th through the 16th, where they'll have over 200 booths of handmade products. Admission will be $10 for adults. Children 17 and under are free with a paid adult. Continuing down the Gatlinburg Strip, we've got some different hotels over here. We got a Shoney's and a melting pot over to the right. We love the melting pot. Always good food there, but we'll cover food in another video. I'm not gonna talk about food. We're not talking food. Across the street, you'll see old time portraits. There are a number of portrait places along the Gatlinburg Strip here that you can hop in and get a great picture with your family or your spouse. Got another little plaza over here to the left. There goes the Redneck Comedy Bus Tour something else that you can do as we come to our next thing to do in Gatlinburg this summer. Ober Mountain. What was once known as Ober Gatlinburg is now Ober Mountain. You can see some bikes that are out as they are telling you about the new thing this summer. You can get on a bike trail up at the top of Ober and you don't need to bring your own gear. You can actually rent what you need if you want to go up top and do some mountain biking. They also have an alpine slide and their own mountain coaster up top. I have a video showing you all the different 
summer activities you can do at Ober in more detail. I'll put that video down in the description of this one. I often see people ask, should I do Anakista? Should I do the Skylift or should I do Ober? And I will say Ober has the most activities that you can do. For adults and kids, it's $49 for their unlimited wristband. If you're over 60 years of age, it's only $39 and it has a lot of activities. Our kids love the ice skating. It also includes the bike area ticket, but you'd still need to rent your gear if you're gonna do some mountain biking up top. They did simplify their pricing so that unlimited wristband does include unlimited access to their aerial tramway, which is going to get you some amazing views of the Great Smoky Mountains. So there is a look at some of the things you can do this summer at Ober Mountain. Across the street you have the oldest restaurant in Gatlinburg, Howard's. And over here we got Cherokee Grill and a number of different shops back here at Calhoun's Village. As we pass by Cumberland Jack's Lacan Kitchen and coming over to this corner that has Crockett's Breakfast Camp, we're almost to the end of the list. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, we'd love to have you join us in all our future adventures. If you have enjoyed this list, do us a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button down below. It's a great way to let YouTube know this video was helpful and it would help other people coming to Gatlinburg, Tennessee this summer. As we have arrived to the other Gatlinburg, Tennessee welcome sign, I wanted to make sure we touched on the number one recommended thing to do in Gatlinburg, Tennessee this summer would be to keep heading on down this road to the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. Such as Cataract Falls, which is just down the road from downtown Gatlinburg and is an easy hike for the whole family. Or drive a little bit further to Klingman's Dome and on a clear day, you're gonna get some amazing 360 degree views of the Great Smoky Mountains. Or head over to Cades Cove and have a picnic. Wherever you go, don't forget to slow down and just enjoy God's creation. There's so many things to do in Gatlinburg but definitely make sure you don't need a vacation from your vacation and you have a nice restful time while you're in Gatlinburg. That's gonna wrap up this video covering things to do in Gatlinburg, Tennessee this summer. Let me know in the comments if there's something not on the list that should be on the list, or if you're coming here for the first time, what are you looking forward to doing the most? If you have any other questions, feel free to ask those in the comments section. We'll do our best to help you out. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure.